Hi Bold Bakers, I have to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and I'm going to do so this year with a lovely chocolate and Guinness cake. Also, as I'm showing you how to make the cake along the way, I'm going to share with you some traditional Irish slang and what it all means. For years now, I've been very careful not to share too much Irish slang, but as they say, you can take the girl out of Wexford, but you can't take Wexford out of the girl. So here we go. So this cake has been really popular on my website. You can find the written recipe right there. It's really easy to make. We just do our wet and do our dry. So in this bowl, I have some melted butter. And into this, I'm going to add in some cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. Good quality, please. Some granulated sugar, or as we call in Ireland, castor sugar. Some brown sugar. This can be a dark or light, I choose dark brown sugar for this recipe because it has that kind of molasses flavor that you have in Guinness. So it like works really well together. And then of course, our Guinness. So just pour that right in there. You just need half a can of Guinness. What you do with the rest is up to you. Do you like Guinness? Um, do I like Guinness? I've had Guinness uh, probably, I've, I haven't even had it a handful of times in my life. I did have it with Kevin at the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin. It's not for me. It's very rich. It's very thick. I do love it in stews. I love it in cakes. I love it in desserts. But as a drink, it's just a bit too heavy for me. But I do know a whole nation of people who would disagree with me. <laughs> but however, that doesn't make me any less Irish. With a hand whisk, just whisk it all together. Okay, so I Googled some of these phrases. You tell me what they mean. Bad dose. Oh, it means you're sick. You got like a bad dose of something, like you got a cold or a flu or whatever. So if you're really sick, you'd say, I got a bad dose or a bad old dose. <laughs> Bang on. Bang on is like spot on, like exactly what you wanted, like perfect. Banjaxed. Banjaxed is one that I actually still use quite a lot and it means broken. So like banjaxed, broken, uh, doesn't work, not of any use. Bunk off. Bunk off? What did, how do you spell that? Crack on. Crack on. It means to keep on going. Okay, I've heard you say this before many times. Donkey years. <laughs> so donkey's years means um, a very long time. That's something like my mom would say quite a lot. Like they've been around for donkey's years or that house has been there for donkey's years. As they would say in Ireland, it's as old as the hills, which means it's just been around a long time. It's very old. Earwig. Oh yeah. That's something I haven't heard in a long time. It's just listening in. It's it's like it's not about like you know the way you say the earwig. You hear a song in your ear. It's not that. It's like earwigging. It's it, listening in to like what somebody else's conversation. We do that a lot in Ireland. Uh, Naggins and shoulders. I don't know what that means. Do you know what it means? Already, this is smelling really good. So into here, I'm going to add in my eggs. I leave them out at room temperature. A little bit of sour cream. Now sour cream makes this recipe so great. It makes the cake really lovely and moist. It's like when you use yogurt or buttermilk or anything like that. It kind of tenderizes the cake. Lovely. And if you don't have sour cream, you can use yogurt. That's totally fine. Then a little bit of vanilla extract. So again, this cake is not like super traditional. It's not like a dessert that I grew up with, but it is becoming more and more popular. And it's just a great way to utilize Irish ingredients. And I love to see like cakes like this, like all around the world. So we're just gonna whisk this up, whisk in our sour cream, whisk in our eggs. Don't get it on your nice top because you're not wearing an apron. Oh my gosh, it smells like brownie batter. You know, that kind of a way, like really rich and fudgy. For those of you who try to stay away from alcohol in desserts, it is a small amount and it will burn off during the cooking. So what you'll end up with is actually just the flavor. And that extra moisture in this cake will make it really lovely and soft. Okay, those are our wet ingredients. Set them over to the side. Here I have my all-purpose flour. In Ireland, we call it plain flour. You could also use cake flour or cream flour. Cream flour is uh, kind of like our cake flour in Ireland and that would work really well. So we're gonna add in a little bit of salt here into our dry ingredients. And a little bit of baking soda. Now, the baking soda is going to react with the sour cream that we have in there. So there's a method to my madness always. It's not just random. Those two will react and it will help the cake to rise. You need a soda or you need an acid when you're going to use a soda. So be it buttermilk, yogurt, sour cream, something like that. Even milk with lemon in it. 
Mixy, mixy those. The jacks. <laughs> what are the jacks? <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> Naggins and shoulders. You said that again. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> like hen's teeth. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, like hen's teeth. Oh my gosh. So I think that what the way you'd say that is, it's like pulling hen's teeth. So if you're trying to get somebody to like say something or do something, like, and they're just not doing it. It's like pulling hen's teeth. Acting the maggot? Acting the maggot. It means acting up. To be like acting bold. What's the crack? What's the crack? <laughs> so what's the crack? The crack, crack in Ireland is a very, it's a, uh, that's a word that we use a lot in many different ways. You'd say like, what's the crack? How's the crack? Any crack? Where's the crack? Oh, then you'd say it in Irish, like cut on scale. Like in so many different ways, like we say it. The crack is fun. So it, it like, it translates as like fun, like what's going on, uh, what's happening. So you'd say, what's the crack? Which means like, what's the story? What's happening? What's going on? Like, what's the fun? You know what, now that I'm making this, it is more like an Irish traditional dessert because it's really no fuss. One bowl into the other and then just mix up. There we go. And then just whisk until you have a smooth batter like this. Lovely. So our batter is ready to go into our pan here. I have a nine inch spring form pan. It has been buttered and lined. And then just pour in your batter. This is a big cake. It's gonna feed a lot of people, which is good because in Ireland, there's always somebody arriving in on your doorstep <laughs> looking for a cup of tea and something to eat. So that's it. All we have to do now is get it into the oven. So bake your cake off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 45 to 60 minutes. Now, while I have you here, I just want to keep you updated on what's going on in the Academy. We've had some amazing few months. This month, the month of March, we are focusing on breakfast pastries. We made turnovers, we made biscuits, we made beignets. They were so delicious. You still have time to check it out. All the information can be found in the description box below. Sucking diesel. Sucking diesel, that it means that like, like, you know, when people say, I think they say that here, do they? Like, now you're sucking diesel, no? If you were doing something really well and you'd, you'd say like, wow, like, like now I'm sucking diesel, where it's just like, you're just like doing it really well and you've kind of got into a rhythm and like, that's what that means. Throwing shapes. Throwing shapes is, I would say, an early 2000s saying, which means like, which is what I used to do in like, discos in Wexford town, which is like dancing. So it's like throwing shapes. Chancer. A chancer is still a term I use a lot and it just means that, uh, I call waffles a chancer a lot actually, and it just means that you will chance something, that you will risk, like you're, you're a risk taker, that you will like chance something. So, uh, so that's all that means, but yeah, we use that a lot. Like as I'd say to waffles, like you're a chancer when he's trying to get like dinner or something like that. The messages? Oh! <laughs> The messages is you go to shop, to, you go to the shop to buy, to get the messages. So it's shopping. It's your shopping, like your bread and your milk and your butter and your eggs and all those things. It's messages. Like I have to go out and do my messages. Our cake is looking great. It's well risen. I'm going to set it over here to cool down because we want to do that while we're making our glaze. You make your glaze last minute. So it's like the perfect consistency to pour over your cake. Our chocolate glaze is really simple. In a saucepan over low heat, add in your butter, chocolate, and golden syrup or honey. Either of those will work really well. Wait for the ingredients to melt and for your glaze to combine. So this is looking good. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Let's bring it over there and pour it all over our cake. So our cake is cooled down. So I'm gonna take it out of the tin and place it on a cake stand, just because this is an impressive dessert. Then I'm gonna drizzle over my glaze and let it drip down the sides. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Now you could let your glaze set or you could have no patience at all and just cut into it like I did. Look at that cake, absolutely gorgeous. That is full of chocolate and full of flavor. Now this dessert does not need a lot of sprucing up but because I love it, I'm gonna add a big scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. And then for the taste. As they say, Everyone's a little bit Irish on St. Patrick's Day. 
and you don't have to be Irish to enjoy this cake. It has so much flavor. You get a tiny taste of the Guinness, but not a huge amount. What it adds is a little bit of flavor, but then a lot of moisture and gives it really good texture too. It's just a moist, decadent chocolate cake. And that glaze on top is exactly what this cake needs. Goodbye everybody and happy St. Patrick's Day, or as we say in Ireland, Slán and La Féla Padraig. Hi stinkers. Oh, you're so stinky. You're so stinky.